serious, the amount of times that you guys see this breakfast is honestly embarrassing, but I love it. I love this breakfast so much and it keeps me so full all morning until after my training. And you know what? Don't touch me, okay? And side note, the Vans waffles, mm, they're a little funky this time. You know, if you've been around, you know the deal with the Vans waffles. They're very hit or miss. And these, you can kind of see that the color's a little off. And I got these ones at Target. The last time I got them at um, Fresh Time <clears throat> and they were really good. So I don't know, I don't have the answer for you and neither do they, but this is meal number one, breakfast at 7.30. Well, actually, no, it's 7.42. What? We're literally first week into September and it's 50 degrees. Why? I don't know. Also, I have boxes I have to shake the dumpster today. That's why this is from the bed. So it's really big. That's why it's like all over my driver's seat. Um, but anyway, on the way to the gym, today I am filming a comparison video for the Whoop and the Fitbit. I did this video a couple years back when the Whoop 2.0 came out and I had it and I ultimately stuck with the Fitbit. Now the new Fitbit is coming out at the end of September, which I've already pre-ordered, but I don't think it even ships until October. So in the meantime, I'm going to be reviewing the 3.0 Whoop and kind of seeing how they've made some changes in comparison to the Fitbit. So I just got to the gym. I'm going to do my workout. Um, I had some of those Alyssa's oatmeal cookies. I just grabbed them on the way out and had them when I got in the car for like my pre-workout since I ate my breakfast a little bit before eight and it is currently 10 o'clock right now. So I'm going to do that and then head home, do the usual shake lunge. I have a couple errands to run with these boxes and then we will continue on with the full day of eating. Check that out. 1.30. Maxi's here filming. And then, look at this. After that workout, so make sure you stay tuned for this whoop video, because it's interesting. I just want you guys to take a hot second look at this beast of a camera right here. Just check this out. Imagine. And that. <laughs> because I wanted it to be more creamy. It's like a drink through a straw because if you make it with frozen banana, which you totally can and it's delicious, but if you make it like that, it just makes it super thick, so I would make it into a bowl. But I have a video to edit. I have to go do a couple errands and then I'm feeling like a hot dog for lunch today. So here's where I'm at so far for the macros. And I will check back in for lunch. Okay, so I just finished my client check-ins and I've been really into these Gilbert's chicken sausages lately. I've just been putting them on a like, super easy lunch. A uh, top sliced bun from Pepperidge Farm with a little bit of carrots and ranch. So if you're like somebody who needs to eat on the go or just like a quick meal, literally took me two minutes to make and then I just put my side of carrots and ranch easy peasy so I can run out the door and go do my errands. I've been trying a new meal prep. I tried it when Maggie was here. The power plate meals, because if you've been around a while, I've tried so many different meal prep companies and I just like, I don't love any of them. I also don't feel like a lot of them are accurate, so I always like to weigh out what they have in the serving size, like what the nutrition label says and see. And so far, the meals that I've tested with this company have been pretty spot on. I also like that they have the sodium listed in all the other micronutrients instead of just the macros. So I'm hoping that comes today so I can have that for dinner, but I'm gonna eat my little hot dog lunch, do my errands, and maybe have a snack, and I'll be back. Quick roll target for Rooney. Scarecrow Crunch, are you joking me? Peanuts, peanut butter candies, milk chocolate covered cereal squares, white chocolate oat cereal, and milk chocolate marshmallow bits. It's always funny when people think like trail mix is healthy. But it's like, oh, I, just, I just need to taste this a little. Oh my God, delicious. Okay, quick little Target haul. I just got some Vans. I got more of those top slided buns, spinach, 
the trail mix, chicken thighs. I just, this was the only time that they had at Target Smart Chicken. Then I just got another one of my light coffee. Oh, speaking of coffee, let me put you onto this. This needs more ice though, for sure. So here is like an alternate to the pumpkin cold foam cold brew. That's way less calories. There's only 75 calories. It's like 13 carb, 1.5 fat, depending on if you want regular milk, but I just subbed it for oat milk. What you ask for is a grande iced pumpkin cold foam cold brew, but they usually use a ton of pumps of the pumpkin syrup in the cold foam, which makes it have so much more calories and carbs. So you get one pump of pumpkin syrup in the cold foam, and then you replace the regular vanilla syrup in the cold brew with sugar-free vanilla syrup. If you don't like your pumpkin fall drinks very sweet, try this out. It also saves you some macros, and I just personally don't like it to taste like pure sugary pumpkin. I don't know, just my personal preference, but and that's what I got instead of my mid-afternoon snack. I decided because it was so dreary outside that I wanted a little pick-me-up. And then I got what I actually went to Target for, which was the vintage light bulbs for the bathroom. Okay, so I wanted to give a quick update on the bed situation. Yesterday, uh, we put it together and it was so low. I asked on my Instagram story if people thought I should leave it or raise it because I'm personally not used to having a bed like literally on the floor. And Austin didn't like getting out of bed like with his knees to his chest basically. So we ended up raising it about six inches, which is still shorter than the bed before. Like literally the old bed covered that whole first window. So it's still a bit of a change. I love it so much. I think it is so cozy with the lights and the green. Still working on a situation for this. I haven't fully decided yet what I wanna do, but I did wanna show you the bathroom update because it's coming along. We got more tiles. Let me turn the lights on, hang on. So I've got those lights put in. And then today he finished tiling this side and this wall. And then he has to just finish, finish the niche and just the rest of the window on top of that. So that's really all that's left to do. And then I just have to, you know, put my little decor style on it, but it is just looking so good. I am loving it. So this mirror, still waiting on the new one from West Elm, it just that mirror just doesn't go. And then I think I'm gonna do black, um, like a, you know those like electric fireplace things that are like media consoles? I feel like that's what needs to go there because a regular console with an open bottom, just it's not doing it for me. So that's kind of where we are with the room right now. I just absolutely love it though. It is so cozy. I was hoping that my power plate meals would arrive so I could eat, but they haven't and I'm starving. So I'm just gonna cook up some of my already made chicken thighs. So I'm just gonna preheat my Ninja Foodie and just kind of re-air fry them essentially to keep them crispy and some green beans. And that's what I'm gonna have for dinner. And I guarantee you, as soon as I eat this, they're gonna show up the door. I prefer to have like a really high carb nighttime snack. And since dinner is essentially the farthest meal away other than the nighttime snack from my training, I've just been having less carbs in my actual dinner. So I just have my five ounces of chicken thigh with some green beans and the Bolt House Farms honey mustard. It's not like actual honey mustard, but it's really good. Then I still have some protein left over, 20 grams of fat, which, ew. More peanut butter. <laughs> I can have like cereal or oatmeal, whatever, and it's just delicious for my nighttime snack and keeps me full all night. If I was working out later in the day, like when I used to sometimes work out at one or two, I'd probably have more carbs in this meal. Ooh, you know what? I have those Yasso bars. I talked about that my last full day of eating video, they're so good. You have to get them. I've only been able to find mine at Target. So highly recommend the salted caramel crunch one. Ugh, so
so this is my final snack of the day. Two apple cinnamon rice cakes with peanut butter, banana, and cinnamon. And I pretty much hit my macros spot on. I'm super excited about it. See what the rest of the fam is doing. What are we doing in here? Oh, you're a lady. Wow. We is enjoying the new bed. <laughs> Texting me too. Here? Yeah, we're watching a movie. Okay. Oh, you're so cute. Oh. That's the end of my full day of eating video. Oh, oh. Whoa! Whoa! Wow, that's rare. That was a good boy. Wow. That was a good boy. Look right? at that cute boy. <laughs> right, look at him. Oh, so cute. <laughs> you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to click subscribe so you never miss a Monday or Thursday with Manders. And we are 23 days away from the wedding, so we're pumped. Ow, talks my nuts. <laughs> Goodbye.